by Rick Organizer. This thing is being recorded. Insight. This video is going to cover change admin console in the Office 365 suite. When the administrator logs into the portal, they look on this page and they have this admin link. And if they go to the Exchange console, they just come down here and click on Exchange. And it brings up the Exchange admin console, which is which is full Exchange 2013. So what I'm going to do is basically just do a quick overview of everything that's in here, not really get down into too much detail, but just give you a brief overview of it. So this is all of the users that have licenses assigned to them. Now they have mailboxes. You can double-click on these users for other consoles and do work on these users. Groups as well. This is all of your groups. You could have dynamic distribution groups or regular distribution groups. Uh, just like you have normally an Exchange server, uh, you can have resource mailboxes uh, for uh, equipment or conference rooms, however you need that. You have shared mailboxes as well. These are free mailboxes along with the resource mailboxes. So if you need a, a 5 gig free mailbox, you can, you can utilize that. The contacts that you can have outside of your company uh, that can go on to the, uh, the glass list. The migration tool included in here uh, if you want to uh, migrate your on-prem users to the cloud environment. On the permits uh, uh, here, these are the admin roles. So you have different administrator roles outside of your environment. The user roles, these are basically policies that you can set on your users, uh, what they can and can't do. This is new for 2013, the Outlook web app policies. You can set some policies up where, you know, can the user um, in the LinkedIn contacts and Facebook contacts, things like that. So that's for 2013. The complaint management, this is basically for the exchange plan. Two licenses where you can have a place hold or an e-discovery, all of your email that's going in and out of the uh, Environment is saved. You can do e-discovery on this and, uh, environment, things like that, for legal purposes. You can get what happened inside the console. Uh, this is new data loss prevention, so you can set up templates. They have templates, and you can set up policies to where, say, credit card information. If 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 the system sees a credit card information in an email, it'll block it. Things like that. Uh, especially for HIPAA compliance and things like that. So that's available as well with the uh, P2 license. The retention tags, uh, basically you can create these retention tags to say, if I have a piece of mail that's over six months old, I'm going to archive it. And then uh, once it's you know, two or ten years old, I'm going to delete it. So the tags create policies. So you can, you can create that, those there. The jewels, that basically allows you to journal off to a third-party archiving service or whatever you need there. The organization, this is uh, sharing uh, of basically your free and busy if you fed it with other organizations. This is brand new here for you. You can have Outlook apps, so you can go to the Outlook app store, download the apps, and then allow or able different apps that your users can use within their Outlook. So that's for 2013 Outlook. Protection, it used to, um, the other version of um, uh, Office 365 had four online protection, and this version has that as well. It's called Exchange Online Protection, and it's all built into the same console. So here you have your malware, your connection, your content filtering here, your spam and quarantine features. So all of that's built in into this console. The mail, these are rules that you can create just like in an exchange server and different reporting and uh, metrace basically is reporting as well. These are your domains that you're going to utilize inside of your environment and you can create inbound and outbound connectors as well. For devices, you can create device rules to say you can, maybe they'll quarantine those device uh, devices when they connect and then one, and, and I decide, uh, you know, they're quarantined. I can decide to connect, let them connect to the network or not. There's slight policies that you can utilize as well on your mobile devices. 
folders are back now. Um, you can utilize public folders in, in this version. So any public folder infrastructure you have currently, you can replicate that up into this environment. And then you can also create public folder mailboxes as well. For messaging, um, this has always been available. But if you have any type of a messaging um, solution, you can connect it in here into the dial plans. And if you have an IP gateway, you can connect that uh, also. That's a real high-level overview of the uh, Admin console. If you have any uh, questions or need any more information about this, please contact your Insight representative. And I appreciate it, and thank you uh, for watching the video.